Many thanks for still staying with us. You're watching TVC Breakfast and barely a year ago, TVC Communications had to face one of the toughest days. It remains in our minds and in our hearts as we try to maneuver through the aftermath of the enters protest. Well, it's now time to bring you our feature on the show today as more and more reactions continue to trail the sharp spike in the cost of cooking gas and now the price of charcoal and kerosene. Many Nigerians cannot afford to keep up with the price surge, hence now go back to the days of charcoal and kerosene fuel and the price of the commodity. Now the price of a 12.5 kg uh, cylinder refill goes for at least an average of 7,300 to about 7,800 naira, depending on which part of the country buyers reside. Now we have seen at least over five upward price reviews in the last few months and an unfavorable development to the gas penetration target. Joining me now virtually to discuss the impact of this development and much more on businesses and households that heavily rely on cooking gas is economist Marco Ilo. Good to have you on The Breakfast Show this morning. Yeah, thank you, David, for having me. Good morning. In the last quarter, we've seen almost at least five uh, upward reviews of the price of cooking gas refill. That's quite a development not too many Nigerians can keep up to because their salaries or their living wages remain the same. How difficult do you think this is for the average Nigerian? Let me paint a realistic picture for you now. There's a whole lot of stockpiling at this point in time. I went to get my own refill of 12.5 kg for 7,500. And to my surprise, just the container, the cylinder, the empty one, 6 kg, was going for 13,000 naira. This is double what it sold for just last year of about 6,000 naira. And then 12.5 goes for 20 kg without a refill. So even if we want to stockpile or save a little bit before the end of the year, which is proposed that it might likely hit about $10,000 uh, Naira a refill. How do Nigerians begin to live with this sort of limiting issue, availability and affordability? Well, uh, you've packed a lot of issues there, but the first one I should address is the fact that it's not a very good uh, idea to stockpile uh, gas cylinders with uh, contents in the house. Uh, one or two at the most is okay. Uh, because there are also risks involved in uh, gaseous elements lying around the house. That said, uh, these are not uh, convenient times for Nigerians. I was trying to wrap my head around how an average household, let's say even both the husband and uh, the wife are working and are on minimum wage, and they are earning about 50,000 naira. It takes an average household of maybe four or five people to burn through 12.5 kg in a month. So if you spend uh, 10,000 naira on that, uh, with the PACM bills we have, the crazy bills that are coming in these days, you are going to spend at least 15 to 20,000 naira, you know, trying to get electricity. And uh, in uh, other climes, you will expect that electricity bills will be the same bills that will cover your electricity uh, cookers. But here we don't use electricity to, to cook our food. So that becomes, uh, that means why we are going into gas. That is, on one hand, you've not talked about rent. You've not talked about other things. You've not even talked about food, the essential commodities of life. You've not talked about uh, maybe uh, bills that come with uh, raising children. So this is the kind of situation the average Nigerian is in at the moment. Uh, we can only ask government to try and intervene as much as they could. Uh, let the common man be the center and focus of their policies. So that you look at average lives. How can we help these people? In, uh, for instance, there is um, there is a cap on uh, household uh, prices of gas. So it, it doesn't rise a bit that like we are having in Nigeria at the moment. So let us look at ways and means where government can come in and uh, ensure the, the life and uh, life levels of uh, mm. the average citizen. Mike, can you find me a button here now? At this point in time, we have a phenomenon that despite the uh, interventions by the Association of Liquefied Petroleum Gas Marketers and then that of government or the Minister of Petroleum Resources and a whole lot more, uh, the authorities within the energy sector, we have a phenomenon where prices don't necessarily calm down, irrespective of interventions. How do you think this would also tilt the narrative for the worse? Well, uh, the, the bottom line is that the gas market in Nigeria is deregulated. That is one. Two, the, the, 
uh, production of gas in Nigeria is majorly export oriented. About 40% of domestic uh, gas being consumed in the country is supplied by Nigeria LNG. The others are sourced outward. And currently, around the world, uh, the, the gas shortage in the market. So as much as we are uh, susceptible to the variations in gas supply from other places, the shocks reach home to us. So if government can uh, do a little bit more of uh, focusing inward with gas supply, or maybe necessitating those IOC that are working in the oil sector to put their gas maybe more of their gas uh, output into domestic consumption. It will help us to avert those shocks that we are experiencing. But other than that, uh, from UK to Germany to Russia, people are experiencing uh, increases in gas prices. This is winter, and uh, more mm -hmm. people want to burn uh, gas for heat. And uh, among other things, even China is looking for more gas to power their exactly. industries. Exactly. So the shocks are here with us, mm -hmm. and uh, only government can cushion it for the average common uh, the average person on the street. China is also dealing with a power crunch where it's also looking at heavily relying on coal. But what do you think would be the forecast of the price of coal here in Nigeria, charcoal, kerosene, and also gas in the coming weeks? What do you think will play out? Well, uh, the thing is, uh, gas in terms of uh, maybe domestic cooking now, gas and charcoal are substitutes. But the way it is, if there is a, 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 a static number, you know, volume of coal available and uh, there's more demand. The implication is that the price of the coal itself will be on the on the upward swing and there's nothing much we can do about it. So if government can look for emergency measures, maybe to increase the volume of uh, of gas that comes into the country, then we ask people not to rely. In Lagos now, I don't know where you're going to get the coal, except they go to maybe Ogun State and uh, pull down some bushes. If you are talking again about uh, climate change, then we have to burn less coal, burn less charcoal for the good of everybody on the planet, uh, David. We definitely need to take seriously the conversation around climate change, cleaner energy and affordable energy cost. Thank you very much for your time on The Breakfast Show this morning. Mark Elo, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. The pleasure is mine.